Hey y'all, Leo here. In this video, I wanted to cover how to install Bashtop in Ubuntu 2004. In 2010, it's built into the repos. So after this version, you probably won't need to do any of this stuff, unless you want to stay up to date with the latest versions that come out, which there may or may not be a ton as Aristocratos, the guy that put Bashtop together in the first place, has moved a lot of his energy to be PyTop which is the successor of Bashtop. Either way, it'll be available so you'll know how to put this together. So there are three main ways to do this, and the easiest way is the PPA, and that's what we're going to start with. So if we scroll down toward the bottom, you'll find this here, Ubuntu-based. So first things first, you add the PPA, which is Bashtop Monitor slash Bashtop, and you can just run this command. Just a straight copy-paste is good enough. So let's do that now. It's going to double check with us. Do you really want to install that PPA? You can hit enter for yes. It's going to do a repository update. So you really don't have to do this second part here, but it's just good practice to do. So sudo apt update. It's going to get the latest versions of all the new softwares that you can install. And then we'll just tell it to install bashtop. sudo apt install bashtop. It's going to ask to install a couple of different packages that are necessary to show all kinds of information in Bashtop, LM sensors for temperatures, sysstat for a lot of other system information. Hit enter on this. It'll install all three of those things, Bashtop, LM sensors, and sysstat. And that'll do it. Just run Bashtop, and you're done. So Bashtop is a really cool utility because it's a lot more graphical than a lot of other terminal utilities, and it doesn't use a whole lot of CPU power. Notice here it's using about 2 to 3% of our total system there, which is pretty respectable for the amount of stuff that it does, the amount of stuff that it draws, how quickly it updates, which is this is 2.5 seconds. It tells you all about networking, disks, how your memory's doing, and the processes on your machine. So it can do a little bit more if you hit escape. You'll get options, which looks a lot like a video game. Hit enter on options, and if you hit enter, it will check for new themes, get a few more, and you can kind of cycle through all the different themes that Bashtop has. So all three of the ways that I'm going to show you how to install this will do this. And it's just interesting to pick your favorite. Anyway, so you can tell it to check your temperatures if your system supports it. And my system does not support temperatures, so you won't be able to see them. But if you do have support for them, which many, many systems will, just hit left or right on this and it will flip it to true. And you'll see temperatures up here. And you can do that with pretty much everything on down that list. Well, that's about it for the PPA install. Let's move on to the next one, which is Snap. Before we do that, though, uh, I'm going to uninstall this version. Now, if you want to keep the PPA version, you won't do this. But if you're wanting to use the Snap instead, and you followed me along, you'll need to uninstall all of this stuff before you move on. So to do that, sudo apt remove bashtop. Hit yes. And it's always a good idea to remove all the software that came in with any anything that you've installed so far. So you can do that with sudo apt auto remove. Looks like it'll only pull out sysstat. LM sensors is probably going to be stuck in there. But you can remove it manually if you want. However, it's nice to be able to just type in sensors or something like that to, to see temperatures on your system. Anyway. So let's clear all that. And the last thing we'll need to do is uninstall the repository. So sudo add apt repository dash r for remove. And then you'll need to spell out the repository out here. Or if you still have it up, copy paste. This way I don't typo. And it'll ask you the same thing. Are you sure? So that should do it. Sudo apt update to get a full system update and make sure we don't have that PPA in there anymore. 
All right, so to move on to Snap, before you move on, you'll need to log out and log back in. So, see you in a sec. All right, now the Snap is way easier to install, but a little bit more involved, but most of it's just copying and pasting anyway. So if you head over to snapcraft.io slash bashtop, you'll find the app. If we scroll down, you'll find all of the things that you need to run after the initial installation of bashtop. So let's run through those commands real quick. sudo snap install bashtop will be the way that you get the thing installed in the first place. And then because it's sandboxed away from a lot of the things on your system, we'll need to connect the snap to each of these different things. So mount observe so that we can look at disks, network control for network as well, hardware observe so we can look at system temperatures, system observe, more system information, and process control so that we can kill processes if we need to. And from this point, just type bash top again. And there we go. Same thing, not really a whole lot of change here or anything like that, just another way to get it installed. All right, so Snap was easy enough, just a little more involved. So if we wanna install it the last way, which is the hardest way, compilation, we'll need to remove bash top, log out, log back in, and try it again. So, sudo snap remove bash top. You don't need to go back and unconnect any of those things. It'll just take care of itself. And that'll be about it. So, a quick log out and log back in, and we'll finish this up. All right, for the last and more complicated installation method, that's compilation. And we'll do that straight from GitHub. It, it is fairly simple overall, but it's a lot more manual than that. If you ever have to upgrade the thing, you've got to do that manually. So the PPA method and the snap method will keep your bash top up to date automatically. So this is quite a bit more work on the user's behalf. All right, to get all this set up, you're gonna need those packages that we talked about before, LM sensors and sysstat, but you're also gonna need git so you can pull things down from GitHub and build Essential so that you can compile the software yourself. So to do all of that, sudo apt install lm sensors sys stat git and build Essential. So all four of those packages will get installed in all their dependencies as well. lm sensors is already in there, but everything else gets installed as well. So it's going to install a bunch of packages that will get you to the point where you can install what you need to install. I've had Build Essential on this system before, so you probably, if you've never installed Build Essential before, you will probably have more packages down here than I do. Hit yes to get all of the stuff that you need. We'll clear all this to make room. Now, you wanna to move to a place where you don't mind building software and letting it get kind of messy. Anytime you pull software down from GitHub, it will typically create a new folder with that name in it. Uh, so you can create a folder in your home folder or you can, like I do, go to the temp directory and do all your building there. The temp directory tends to get cleaned out every now and then, so you probably don't wanna put anything that you care about there. But that's where I'm gonna do all of this. So. Let me cd into the tmp directory. See what's in here real quick. Not a whole lot. You can see some of the leftovers from Bashtop when I installed OBS and some few a few other things as well. So what I'm going to do is git clone the whole repository. And I'm going to copy and paste that so I don't typo. Hit enter. And you can see it's telling you cloning into Bashtop. What it's talking about is it's creating a folder called Bashtop and dropping all of the stuff inside of this GitHub repository there. So if you do another ls-l, you'll see there's a new folder in here called Bashtop. So we can cd into Bashtop. And if we look inside of here, there's a few different things that we have, but we wanna build the thing. So we do that with sudo make install. 
sudo make install hit enter it's a very quick process this is there's really not a whole lot to this and at this point it's installed you're ready to go so you can type in bash top and because we installed lm sensors and sysstat before it'll just work as you can see same as before And the last thing is, if you want to get rid of this, I've shown you how to get rid of the PPA and the packages that it brought in. I've shown you how to get rid of the snap. Uh, and now it's time to look at how to get rid of the compiled version of Bashtop as well. And it's just this simple. You can just sudo make uninstall, and that will get rid of it. So if we type Bashtop again, you can see it's not there. Well, Bashtop is a really useful utility, so I hope this video helped you get it installed whichever way you choose to install it. If it did, like and or subscribe for more stuff like this. Thanks for watching.